In this video we're going to go over how to basically import projects into the POC 200. So when you have it load up here at the front, you can just go to your jobs and you want to go ahead and create a new job and go ahead and call it whatever you want. I'll give this one test and I'll say enter and you next have the option. I know it says DXF file, but this is basically your DWG or your DXF file that you want to import. Most of the time it's going to be a DWG, so I'm going to click that. And my computer defaults to my D drive, and it goes to the Hilti Jobs folder. I recommend that you have a Hilti Jobs folder on your D drive, or else it won't find it unless you put it on your C drive or on your Docs drive on, on the actual tablet itself. It's almost always e easier to put it on the USB. And then over here you want to make sure that you have it searching for the file type you have. I usually just select DXF and DWG because it pulls up every single one that I might have in either of these formats. I'm going to click on Drawing and it's going to load it so I can see it in the background. You can see that it's loaded in the background there. I can minimize this to just make sure it all looks good. And I can say OK. So now I have that drawing loaded under this name on this date at this time on my computer. And this create drawing points, I generally speaking, leave off. And um, I'll have another video on how to use this later. But I use, almost always have that turned off. I'm going to say OK. Um, validate the units for my drawing and this is just asking you how it was drawn and most of the time in America inches elsewhere millimeters most likely I'm gonna say okay and I'm gonna show you one thing I always do to make sure I imported it properly after I load it now that it's loaded I can see it's here as one of my jobs I'm gonna say okay and now that is my active job so now what I do to make sure it imported properly I just go to info and I come to graph and it loads up my entire project and what I can do is I can quickly do a check on a distance go ahead and click on a line on my CAD and I can verify that that line is indeed 318 feet and 7 inches um, and I know it's scaled correctly and I'm good to go use the distance marker to measure lines or you can create a couple points such as this I created two points and I know the distance between that is supposed to be 12 feet, 12.75 feet. I can just tap those two points and make sure that it comes out to be that exactly. So I know that my scaling is correct and now I'm good to go back and now import my point file. So I'll come back over here to file and I'll say import. Again, select my file. It's looking for my D drive and my Hilti Jobs folder, and I can either have a CSV or a TXT, and those are the only two file types I can use. Here's my CSV file with all my points. My file units, it's going to be whatever I, I exported it as, and I know that I exported this as international feet on my, on when I exported them. For you, it's going to be whatever you remember exporting them as, and you're going to indicate to job, obviously to test, you can you can select this and select a different job on your on your PC as you as you wish, but it's going to default to the active job. I'm going to say OK. All my points were imported, and now I'm going to wait for this to load. I can now go to info. I'll go to points this time. I want to see all my points. Click that box. And now you can see those two points I made are there. And then as I click around the job site, all these points are populating. Let me go ahead and drag this bar down. You can't see there's a uh, scroll bar. But all these points you see are on this job site. Let me zoom in so you can see a little clearer in the correct location. 
and I have a lot of overlapping points because they're at different heights. That's why they overlap, because all the different height values that I have on my height column. Okay, so that is it. That's how you import points. Now, one thing I will, will remind you is that as you remember, I imported all my points and you saw in this column, you see how they're organized in N, E, H. If you have, if you have a file that's formatted on your point file that's in a different order, you can tell the tool to import it in a different format. So for me, I, I almost always import my points as N, E, H format. If it is different, then before you import your points, just make sure you go to your config, go to your settings, and then come here to your coordinate display inputs, and just indicate that you're going to be importing them um, in E and H. And that way, next time you import them, they'll go in that format instead. So I hope that helped. Feel free to ask questions.